less than a two-hour flight from Joburg, the Namibian point of this Zambezi region is a maze of channels running between islands and floodplains. Home to vast herds of elephant, hippo and buffalo, it's a portrait of undisturbed nature. Jonah, there are only a few places in the world that truly epitomize the phrase untamed Africa, like the Chobi Strip. And this area is renowned for its wildness. Yeah, it's so beautiful out here, man. It's this indescribable feeling that you can't communicate till you've really breathed in the air and put foot on the ground. It's Africa at its most untamed. Our home on the river, Chobe Water Villas, offers a luxurious break in one of Africa's must-see wildlife destinations. Worth celebrating is that South African passport holders need no visas to enter Namibia, Botswana, Zambia or Zimbabwe. When arriving via Kasane in Botswana, the lodge arranges your transfers to immigration and across the Chobe by boat to where the team is waiting to welcome you. Yeah, from as we were approaching our boat, the wooden thatch exteriors make this look like any other African lodge, but it's yes. anything but that. It's mind-blowing. Everything is so luxurious in this lodge. The infusion of the African culture and the modern culture. You see there's the spear of life, these chandeliers representing the African sun, the raindrops, the flow and the tide of the river, the intricacy of the weaver's nest above the river, and then as you see here, the African skies, the glow of the African fire. So gentlemen, the lodge is all yours. Life is centered around the river and this sweeping deck allows breathing room for everyone. How cool is this place, dude? I loved how everything has a, a kind of a meaning. The chandeliers or the sun, the spiral is life. Oh, yeah, it's one of those cute. cool surprises, like you don't expect it and you walk in and everything's got meaning behind it. It's like it's real exactly African shit, it's beautiful. This side of the Great Waterway offers the best retreat on the Chobe. With the number of lodges far fewer here than on the other side, it's a tranquil place to be one with the wild, in company or in private. The suspended bridge is such a cool feature on your way to your rooms. And talk about five-star treatment, they already have our bags in the rooms. The thatch allows you to feel part of the grass floodplains and reed-lined banks of the Chobe while the interiors are a modern tribute to life on the river. As much as it is very luxurious and chic, there's still that African feel that comes through quite strongly. The earthy feel of the wood, and even the metallic grey palette, and an African mural to top it off. Space and understated comfort are the hallmark of your bedroom and private lounge. Chobe has 16 of these ensuite villas, and to be honest with you, it feels more like glamping. It has everything you may need. The mosquito net, a bed that's bigger than one I've ever seen, and of course, this view. Just standing here, it feels like your boat on the actual river. Suspended over the water, you get a 180-degree view of the Chobe, and on the opposite riverbank, Botswana's Sedudu Island and Chobe National Park. If you look closely, you can see a hippo right there. I don't think you can get any more immersed in the wilderness and still say you're glamping. Well done, Chobi. If you can't swim in the river for obvious reasons, the deep bath is made for a luxurious evening soak. But first, the lads had a four-hour river safari along the banks of the Chobe National Park, home to the largest elephant population on planet Earth. Bro, don't do that. Not when he's this close. Jeez. How amazing is this, dude? And I'll talk about up close and personal. You don't get any closer than that anywhere else. I know, man. In the wild. You can almost... Okay, let's calm down. Let's calm down. We're about to lose the presenter here, guys. He's looking at us. He's checking us out there. What else do you want to see? Well, I've seen pretty much everything now, except a hippo. If you can get me a hippo, this has been a complete trip. This is top billing, bro. Just turn your head. You're lying. Look over there. Go Come on. We organize for you. Chovy. He's a huge guy. Check it. He's coming towards you, dude. Your wishes might come on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Crocodile and a hippo this close to each other. Yeah. Where else Amazing. are you going to find it? Amazing. The guys were looking out over 150,000 hectares of national park, and in it, no less than 120,000 elephant. Numbers that give you hope for their future. 
Bro, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Looks like he came to greet us. Yeah, he's Everybody's just so us friendly out. here. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think there's a false sense of security on the boat. <laughs> exactly. I think if we jumped on here, we might not end up getting back. I just love this twist on the traditional game drive, though, right? I know. Like it, chilling on the game. It's not, what would it be? A game ride? Would game be ride. Ride, because we're on a boat. I think you yeah. should coin that. Game ride. I think it's pretty statement. cool, though, because you're on the water, and you can check the animals out in a completely different environment. And it's right here. That's what so kind of close. blows me away. Yeah. You could literally kind of, as you say, feel this in person. You can feel it breathing almost on us. I love it. The sustainably fished catch of the day came courtesy of Chef Dallas Oars Rod and Reel. I've got a bit of a treat for you today. So Fez, I think I'm going to kickstart you off with the bream that I caught this morning. Okay. So that's going to go onto this grill. Okay. All right, so, and then I'll just show you later on how to finish that off if I wake up from my nap. <laughs> <laughs> and John, I've got another fish dish I want you to try. So that's the sauce marinated over there with a the fish that I cleaned this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you marinate that, give it about 10, 15 minutes and you can give it a try and let me know what that tastes like. And then I'll see you guys a bit later because I think the instructions are clear and I'm going to go sleep. Bye bye. Uh, just oh. like that. Okay. Gonna, okay. Uh, no, you you chef, got that, right? This. Yeah, mm. I got it. All right, hey, cool. On the fire. There, hey, Spears. Don't forget to marinate the fish, please. Marinate. I, I, I knew that. That's, no, no, I was that's just what we were forgetting. I wanted to make sure he was awake. <laughs> okay, let me kind of cool. We got this. You can have a nap. You marinate. marinate. I'm also going to marinate. That's what I have to do with the ceviche. Our neurosurgeon was looking forward to adding fish brying to his CV. Oh, how's that sound? How that's, beautiful that's, is this? That's it. Look at the elephant right there, bro. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, Can you man. beat this, though? This is Africa. This is beautiful. You know what I love about this place? There's all the different levels. You've got like islands, you've got rivers, you've got forests and mountains. It's the best of Africa. Somebody's looking like he's 10 years younger. He's man. an excited kid. You know what? I forgot. <laughs> Don't tell the chef, dude. I forgot to give it the gloves. Oh. I'm supposed to wear gloves when we do this. And I use these every day. They would have helped, John. I'm going to put one. Just if the chef asks, we use gloves, all right? This is going to be the best meal ever. Because bream prey on small fish, prawns, and crabs, which flourish in healthy rivers, they're a good indicator of the state of the Chobe ecosystem. <laughs> a delicious indicator, too. Let's get it going. Don't let it break in half, dude. Listen, I'm all an right. expert. Okay, oh, that's good. Now, Pop, I know. I wish the chef was here to see this. I feel like he's just going to eat all our hard work. Ah, <laughs> oh, Pop, now it's a bri. Okay. The apprentices had passed Chef's River Safari Fish Bri Masterclass. Okay, what do you think? Hey, look. looking awesome, guys. Come on, have a seat. Let's yeah. have a taste. Okay. Yeah, try. Yeah, grab a bit of fish, grab a bit of salsa. Okay. Get some Ooh. seasoning on there. I'll wrap this one up. This is how you eat food, fingers and all. Okay, okay cheers. Oh, that's so fresh. Yeah. Chef, this is, you're going to be so impressed with us here. Yeah. I thought you were calling me chef because I cooked it. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. You did, ah, you did a good job. You there we a go. Good, good job. Oh. The sun is setting. We're enjoying the bream straight out the Chobe. This, this is the perfect way to end the place day. To love, yeah. After a night in their luxury villas, the guys were on the river early. Destination Kabula Bula on the Botswana shore and a local fishing community. So this has always been my favorite part of traveling is when you get to meet the local people, you immerse yourself in the culture. Like you don't get a better sense of the place unless you're doing something like that, you know? And I mean, it doesn't get any more authentic than the Kasenu people. They've been here living this exact same lifestyle for hundreds of years, dude. Best of a simple life. Exactly. <laughs> For Gifts community, many aspects of fishing and farming livestock are unchanged from centuries-old traditions. Oh, Gift, thank you so much for welcoming us to your beautiful village. Yeah, you are welcome. And when I, they will dance for you and they will show you the village life. It's been a while since John's famous Strictly Come Dancing victory, and this wasn't among the Latin ballroom routines he mastered. As for this take on pole dancing, he did his best not to let Team South Africa down. These dances have taken place here ever since the village was built around this baobab. It's a tree that can live for 3,000 years and we hope Kasenu will be here just as long. If you're not dancing, then there's plenty of work for TV presenters' hands.
Can we help? Hello, can we? Yeah. We want to work for our food. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We must just hit hard, okay. eh? Hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just hard. I think we just got to sing it. Oh, we got to sing. Okay. Show, show, loser. Show, show, loser. The cultural exchange was in full swing. Steven, uh, uh, yeah. when we are by the uh, when we are by the yeah. who has time? Steven, we doing it right. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> they don't look like, they look like I mean, I don't know if anybody's gonna <laughs> eat this today. <laughs> Okay, no, this is what you call oh, working for your food, good? Yeah. Yeah. Is that enough? I don't know about you, dude. I'm get used to this life, eh? I think so. You think, I mean, you this think is you're like surviving this in a, in a simple life like this? Look at your biceps. They're already pumped up. So that means we got a gym going. <laughs> these ladies are like, these are not the men we used to. <laughs> these are some pansy <laughs> men right here. Yeah. <laughs> these are not real men. I feel like they're singing off as well. I feel like they, they got it. They're just Check at them. They're looking into the distance when our husband's coming out. <laughs> For those concerned with their physiques, the upshot of a hard day's physical work, grinding flour or out fishing on the river, is that you work up a sizable appetite to enjoy the popular staple, pup. You also know you'll get to work it off again tomorrow. Let's give it a try. We'll just share one. I think she's going to give us a This will line your stomach for the week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, just gotta dig in there, bud. Whoa, it's hot. Yeah, right? it's still hot. Johnny's got some salt in there. Mm. Mm, that'll line your tummy for a while. That's filling. Yeah. Mm? Kind of tastes like pop for mom. Come and join us. You prepared this for <laughs> us? Have some. Yeah. Here we go, tuck in. Dip it in. Oh, that sauce is nice, eh? Yeah. Very good. Okay, we've tasted the food. Now we need to tie that beer of yours. The local beer. Okay. One. Eh? Where is it? Okay. This one. Oh, yeah. you just see that looks dangerous. Who's going first? You just gotta dive in, bud. I'll be I'll be I'll take my I'll be the elder here and I'll go first because I'll take one for the team. How much? He's gonna be the taster. Ha. That's not beer. That that's 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 uh this is moonshine. Beer. This is illegal yeah. moonshine. That's, that's beer. Go right in there. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Traditional Hassani <laughs> beer. I love it. It's tasty, eh, but that's good. <laughs> A taste of the home brewed fire water soon found John and Fez accepting the challenge to an international soccer friendly. Bafana Bafana and Namibia's brave warriors may be far apart in the FIFA rankings, but this result could have gone either way, and our presenters wouldn't tell us the final score. I would have never thought standing in those presenter search on three lines that one day I'd be with you in such a picturesque setting. Oh yeah, did you were the first <laughs> one I saw in your scrubs. I thought, who's this doctor coming in here wanting to be a presenter now? From that to an epic bromance on the Chobe. <sighs> what a story. I mean, from brying on the river to being immersed in the culture and falling asleep to the sound of hippos in the background. Right. Perfect, dude. As to the next one, dude, I feel like I need uh, David Edinburgh to finish this off for us. Like, we need his voice narrating. The lesser spotted fez approaches the waterhole. He's topless again, as he is all year round. Oh, oh, how's that, Sir bro? David, <laughs> thank you very much. Cheers, brother. Bro, it's, it's been, been nothing epic, but... man. I'm proud of you, dude. Thank you so much. I'm proud of you, you've come so far. Here we go. And to many more? To many more. Our neighbors in Namibia and Botswana looked after us like family. And to our fellow South Africans, we encourage you to take your next holiday on this magnificent river. Mm -hmm.